Welcome to Brews with Bros. My name's Mike and I'm a professional beer drinker. And I'm Brian, also a professional beer drinker who used to work at a cold beer and wine store. And this week we are featuring Pabst Blue Ribbon by Sleeman Breweries Limited. Let's climb it. Will this beer pair well with Clamato? Stay tuned later on to find out. And please don't forget to hit subscribe and the notification bell for future content. Mike, let's crack open a can. Alright, don't mind if I do. down the business later. Now for some background here. Founded in 1844 in Milwaukee, Pabst Blue Ribbon actually started its life as Best Select and then later as Pabst Select. It wasn't until 1882 that it came to be known as Pabst Blue Ribbon, when each bottle had an actual blue ribbon tied around its neck. This 5.9% variation or version of the original American brew is made for the Canadian market by Sleeman Brewing. And at 5.9%, it is stronger than the, uh, its American counterpart at 4.7%, the original American formula. So, but you'd be hard-pressed to find any Canadian that would complain about that. I believe that. <laughs> For the appearance, the Paps Blue Ribbon has a light, frothy head like the foam on a cappuccino. For the and uh, amber in color. For me, Paps Blue has a clear, beautiful golden color and a light head to its overall appearance. For the smell, it smells like most beers. Wheat and hop fragrance. I also noted hints of banana and pear. <clears throat> I do like bananas. So do I. Now for me, I smell a sweet barley scent with a nice underlying hops to balance out the sweetness. For the taste, a clean taste with a mild hop aftertaste. Now for me, Pabst Blue Ribbon has a hoppy taste and goes down with a nice little kick. It has a great balance of hops and barley. Back time. Here's a fun fact, beer goes out well. Pabst Blue Ribbon is sometimes featured in the popular TV show, South Park. Not that I'd ever watch it. <laughs> no, I have. <laughs> Mike, to clam or not to clam, that is the question. It certainly is. This is our beer parody, and this will be our clamlet of the night. Yeah, I can bring that my down a little bit too, before we add the clamel. Here's a clam in your eye. And also in yours. We've added clamal juice to this beer. Clamal is a combination of clam and tomato juice, but more often commonly known as a clam eye. Here's to your health. And to yours, Mike. Thank you. For the smell, I can smell the spice and clam, and no trace of the beer to be found. For me, this mix is a sharp, tangy scent. The clam really spices up the barley malt, and it really adds to the flavor profile as well. Uh, the taste. Wow. Gotta take a few swigs to get a good taste out of this. Mm. For the taste, <clears throat> the cl clamato has surprised me. The clam has. Sweetened with the paps and has risen to my taste buds. A great reaction. Now, for me, this mix is surprisingly has a surprisingly great taste. And as as adding adding the clam harmoniously brings together a nice balance of spice, barley, and hops to the overall flavor. Now for our question: to clam or not to clam? I would put these two together again. This is a, a definite to clam for me. It is, oh man. It is a great combination. I would recommend these two to anybody.
What do you think, Mike? <laughs> I absolutely agree, Brian. That was a mouthful, wasn't it? <laughs> this mix this week for, is one of the best yet that we have done so far, in my opinion. Next week on Bruiser Bros, we are featuring the winner of our beer poll. Please click on the I above to vote for either Sneaky Weasel or Corvus Ravens Brew. If you like what you see, please hit the subscribe button and let us know if there's a beer that you would like us to try in the comments below. If we choose your beer, we will give you a shout out in a future episode. Have a good night, everybody. Good night, Brian. Good night, Mike. Same time, same place, next Sunday on Brews with Bros. On Brews with Bros. Good night. <laughs>